I started talking before I made the video. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but, so I wanted to make um, an educational video just because it came through my mind. Uh, like, there's all these posts where it's like, if you cry out of one side or the other side of your eye, it means different things. The thing is, you can't actually cry at my, don't mind my acne, you can't actually cry out of um, different sides of your eyes. And you can check this at home, but I'm going to show you real quick um, if my camera is good enough <clears throat> that you only have tear ducts on one side of your eye. So, you can cry out of both sides. Not a possibility. Um, not sure if it's going to show. Let's see. Make sure I'm looking at the eyelash. I have to bring cans in, apparently. Um, I don't think you can see it, but <clears throat> closest to your nose, there is, if you pull your eyelid down, there's a tear duct on each side. You can kind of see it. There's a little bump there. Um, but if you check the other side, there's, there's no tear duct to be found. So, all that crying on... <clears throat> Uh, crying on opposite sides thing is this fallacy. Um, it's not it's not a real thing. Um, so yeah, that's just something that's been on my mind. I was like, I'll make a video. Um, but tear ducts are like surprisingly large. If you if you check it out on your own, you can actually like. Don't do this, but you can, if you wanted to, stick like a grain, not a grain, a, a few hairs in there, because it's, they're, they're larger than you would think. I have really bad acting. Uh, okay, well, I have to go do chores, so, put my glasses on so I can see, and I'm going to do that. Bye.